März, ja, ja. So, und hier sind wir. Schon lange aus. Kommt noch jemand oder was? Darüber reden wir im Kreise der europäischen Finanzminister und wir sind entschlossen gemacht. I believe nobody in Europe uh, can afford uh, hard Brexit. Hard Brexit would damage the economic interest of everybody, especially in the United uh, Kingdom. Uh, my impression is that uh, the British Parliament, British politics uh, are struggling very seriously with the question uh, what to decide and uh, how to decide and when to decide. This is something that we should respect as friends, as partners. Uh, zu entscheiden sein wird. Wichtig ist, dass der Vertrag zustande kommt, da bin ich sehr optimistisch. Uh, we should uh, try together to limit uh, collateral damages uh, to the possible extent. Um, when it comes to Brexit, it is clear that you cannot entirely exclude uh, a negative economic uh, impact, uh, but we can try to limit it as far as possible. This is why we have offered a transitional period. This is why uh, we are ready to talk about future relationship. I think I think all of us have an interest um, in a um, um, in a respect uh, of the EU rules that exist, um, and this is exactly what uh, my counterpart uh, Bruno Le Maire has always said. And uh, therefore, we are now not discussing hypothetical questions, but uh, we will support everything that makes the European economy growing uh, in the interest and uh, to the sake of everybody. It's, this is the big uh, game changer is the US shale uh, oil. It is changing all the established dynamics of the uh, oil markets that we used to see. It's there's a new giant in the oil market, which is the US shale. And uh, I think the, in the future, we will see the, sh uh, with the increasing share of shale oil. There will be a huge amount of uh, volatility in the oil prices. We should be all well positioned uh, for that new era starting now.